It's certain that Frozen 3 will make its debut in 2026. Initial buzz about this sequel began surfacing in the previous year, notably when Kristen Bell subtly hinted at its development during an interview with Jimmy Fallon. The storyline of Frozen 3 remains under wraps for now. Bell said she'd like to officially announce the continuation, albeit with no real authority. Essentially, she can say whatever she wants but can't confirm anything specific. She also emphasized that the voice actors are ready to proceed with the sequel. Immediately, headlines the next morning will start announcing that the third Frozen is finally in development and will be released soon. I believe the main announcement will only come when the production stage is nearing its finale, when the movie is almost ready. The second installment concluded with Anna tying the knot with Kristoff and being crowned as Arendelle's new queen, while Elsa chose to stay in the Enchanted Forest, acting as a bridge between the realms of humanity and magic. It's plausible that Frozen 3 will see Elsa and Anna joining forces against a new adversary, promising thrilling escapades ahead. Head. Certainly Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven will be central to the plot, much like in the previous films. There's speculation that Elsa and Anna's parents, believed to have survived the storm, might make a significant appearance in the upcoming film, though this remains unconfirmed. Bob Iger's silence on the matter has left fans eagerly awaiting more information. The decision to greenlight Third Frozen was notably influenced by the disappointing performance of Lightyear at the box office, which failed to break even. In response to this setback, Disney Disney and Pixar have pivoted towards a strategy focusing on proven franchises as safe investments. This approach was emphasized by Bob Iger during a discussion with shareholders where he confirmed the studio's commitment to developing a series of sequels in the coming years. This strategic shift towards established and successful franchises is a direct consequence of the financial underperformance of some recent releases. Disney and Pixar, under the guidance of Bob Iger, are now prioritizing projects with a strong fan base and proven market appeal. Frozen 3 fits perfectly into this strategy given the massive success of its predecessors. Director Chris Buck holds this franchise very dear, treating it as his brainchild. Therefore, after the first Frozen, he had significant doubts about continuing Anna and Elsa's story. His concerns were linked to the incredible success of the first part. Naturally, he feared the sequel wouldn't resonate with fans or create the same buzz as the original. With a budget of $150 million, the first Frozen grossed $1.2 billion, setting a record. Thus, developing a sequel was was a major challenge for the entire team. However, Frozen 2 managed to exceed the original with an incredible plot, mature themes, and an interesting story about Anna and Elsa's parents. It was a resounding success, even surpassing the first part in box office earnings. Sequel collected $145 billion, becoming the second highest grossing animated movie ever, only behind the 2019's The Lion King. The anticipation surrounding the third installment is palpable among the fan community, which has been eagerly dissecting every hint and rumor about the plot and character developments. The focus on sequels also represents a broader industry trend where major studios are leaning towards safe bets to ensure box office success. This approach, while financially prudent, has sparked discussions about the balance between creative originality and commercial viability in major film productions. Fans and critics alike are watching closely to see how this strategy will influence the quality and innovation of upcoming movies, including Frozen 3. For Disney and Pixar, the stakes are high. They not only have to deliver a film that lives up to the high expectations set by two Frozens, but they also need to ensure that it resonates with both longtime fans and new audiences. The success of third movie could set the tone for future projects under the Disney banner and potentially influence the studio's direction in the coming years. As the release date approaches, all eyes will be on how this beloved franchise evolves and whether it can continue to captivate viewers with its magical blend of storytelling, music, and animation. As the anticipation for Frozen 3 continues to build, fans are eagerly collecting every piece of news and theory surrounding the upcoming film. The secrecy shrouding its plot has only fueled more speculation and excitement. One of the most intriguing rumors is the possible return of Elsa and Anna's parents, who are believed to have survived the storm. This theory has sparked numerous fan theories about how their return could impact the storyline and the character's development. Elsa's decision to stay in the forest at the end of Frozen 2 suggests her role as a guardian or mediator between the magical and human worlds might be further explored in a threequel. Also, fans are excited to see how Anna Anna's role as the Queen of Arendelle will evolve. There's speculation about potential challenges she might face in her leadership, possibly even from within the kingdom. Anna has become the Queen of Arendelle, and Elsa has taken on the role of ruler of the Enchanted Forest, suggesting the sisters will now live separate lives. This separation raises doubts, considering their combined strength was crucial in overcoming dark forces in the past. Let's figure out where Frozen 3 might go in terms of adventure. I think there will be another time jump between the end of Frozen and the beginning 
beginning of Frozen 2, three years passed. The events of these three years were shown in shorts and mini-stories. However, despite the diverse plot of the second part, Arendelle received much attention. So the first thing that might happen in the sequel is the introduction of new locations. The first part focused a lot on Arendelle, so I think now the authors will want to pay more attention to other locations, as they did with the mysterious forest in the second part, where we saw many wonders. Also, let's not forget that Frozen is the calling card of new Disney animations. It's one of the most beautiful movies even now, with its landscapes, detailed object design, quality textures of clothing and surroundings, all primarily meant to impress the viewer. Such meticulous work isn't found in any other animated film, so it's in the author's interest to create strong emotions among fans by showcasing the graphic component. The main line of development for the sequel could be Elsa. Now that she has given the throne to her sister Anna, who married Kristoff, Elsa has become free. In both the first and second parts, she devoted much attention to looking after Anna and was very responsible for everyone. Now, she's completely free and perhaps we'll see her first love interest. She can finally live for herself and find her significant other. Also, after the release of the second part, there were rumors that Elsa might become Disney's first lesbian princess. Observing her interactions with a girl from the North Uldra tribe, journalists began to speculate that Elsa might have a female partner instead of a male one. Honestly, considering Disney's current stance, such a possibility exists. The most important thing to know is that in the third part, the authors will not stray from the elements and magic that connected the first and second parts. We can expect to see many episodes focused on the magic of the elements. The second part interestingly showed the intertwining abilities of Elsa and Anna's mother, and the first part showcased Elsa's capabilities for a long time. I'm confident that we can expect something similar in the third part. When can we expect the third part? Discussing the initial script ideas, we can already speculate when Frozen 3 might be released. Considering that there were six years between the first and second parts, it's clear that Frozen is a long-term project for the studio. The development is also affected by pandemics, which have caused significant financial losses. But one way or another, the voice actors have let us know that we should expect a sequel, though when it will be is still a matter of guesswork. Subscribe.